Hey everyone, so I am back. I ran my errands today, I met up with some friends, and now I have an evening event later. So I'm gonna show you guys how I will transform my everyday makeup into more of a glam, bang evening, bang dinner, or a family event, or even a special occasion. So let's get started. I'm going to start off like before with my eyes. Now I'm going to just take my handy dandy face powder and then just outline my brow bone. And doing the same on the other side. This just defines and brings out the structure of the brow bone. So I'm going to take the eye palette from before, the Uncover palette. So I'm going to take again this light terracotta color, load up my brush, and again, just defining my eye shape. Just defining the shadows, where the shadows would be of my eye. And now I'm going in with the deep version, the more orange one, and going in where the most hollow of my eye would be. So here, just above the socket. And then I'm taking that deep chocolate brown that we used before. And I'm tapping the powder and then I'm making like a liner with it. You see what I just did there? I just used the brush and stamped it on to give myself a guide. And then just building up on that liner and then softly blending it to the V around it just to stamp it so that I have the guide and going in where the most hollow of my eye would be so here just above the socket and then I'm taking that deep chocolate brown that we used before and I'm tapping the powder and then I'm making like a liner with it see what I just did there? I just used the brush and stamped it on to give myself a guide. And then just building up on that liner and then softly blending it to the V around it. Just to stamp it so that I have the guide. Now I'm going to go in with a stronger bronze. I'm taking the Advanced Uncover palette. And as you can see there's some really nice shimmery ones but I'm looking at this one here. So I'm gonna get that on my finger. I find that applying shimmers with your finger is the easiest. So just getting that and then just stamping it on the center of my eye. I love shimmers in the middle of the eye. To emphasize now my lash line, I'm going to go in for a little bit of liquid liner. Now, I think liquid liner is one of the most difficult things to perfect and really it is just practice. My tip naman is one to find a product that works for you that you're comfortable with. Some people are comfortable with a pomade or a gel. Other people are more comfortable with a pen. Here I'm using like a felt tip, pot dip um, product. And I'm just going to stay very close to the lash line. So small first, nothing crazy. So you see it's just um it's it's just thickening my lashes. Staying very close to the lash line. I won't reapply mascara, but I will go off cam and put on some falsies and I'll be right back. Lashes. I'm going to just help blend in my inner corners by getting my liquid eyeliner again and just coloring in a little bit more my lash band so that it doesn't look so obvious that I have lashes. I'm going to go back to my key light and make it a bit more bolder. I'm gonna go back in with my uh, Fling Pro Brow Liner and just be a little bit more heavy-handed so really define the brow. So going back on the tail and just defining the shape even more in the sparse areas. I'm just going to blend in on the other side doing the exact same everything before but heavier handed. The brows are quite more defined. The top of the eyes are done. I'm gonna go back and do my skin. So you guys know before that I didn't use any foundation and I am going to stick with that kind of theme but I'm going to go in with a bit more concealer just to polish up the look. And again just concentrate it underneath my eyes and then I'll go in again on my nose. So just buffering it out. This also helps clean up any of the smudge shadow underneath my 
concealing is done, I'm going to go in and set with my powder. <laughs> Tapping up the excess and then just setting my face. So moving on to blushing cheeks, I'm using the color Raisin and this is the Cheek Blush by Every Belena on a powder brush. Sometimes people like to put color on the apples of their cheeks. I think that looks very youthful, very young, very fresh. Sometimes people like to put it up here and it gives a more of a, I guess a more of a sophisticated, mature look. So that's what I'm going to go for today. So just here so that it's like a hint of color. I'm picking a color of blush really depends on your look, on your skin tone. Again. I love the Killing blush, or how my makeup artist Jelly calls it, the drunk blush. You can see that I have a little bit of shimmer. The colors aren't very loud, but they're just emphasizing all the right things. And it's all the lashes. <laughs> and now it's time for the lipstick! These few lipsticks I have for you guys to have a look at are quite bold but I'm giving you a range so that you guys can see what might work on you. Options for you guys in the matte liquid lipstick by Ever Bilena. Um, we have of course the classic red which is love that red. We have a deeper red, fierce red and a more of a nude mauvey red which is dusk. So I'm going to go in with dusk first. dry to matte brown based red it's very classic I think it's very timeless beautiful for us dark haired with especially brown and brown eyes I think it just complements the chocolate tones really pretty color so this one is dusk now this is more of a deeper like blood red And that's Fierce Red. It's a beautiful, deep blood red. I think it's a really classic color. I have the liquid lipstick in Love That Red. Now this is a very bright candy red, which I think is, it makes me think of Christmas. You know, when you're going to Christmas parties and you want that really loud, beautiful red, I think this is the one for you. Go for that classic, red carpet glam with a red lip and like bombshell curls or even if you just want to go out with like minimal makeup and have a statement red lip I think this is really beautiful hope you guys enjoyed that kind of getting ready with me and this is my go-to eye with the shimmer in the middle with the extended cat eye using powders um, again makeup is a completely personal thing it's a form of self-expression so just have fun find out what works for your features for your skin type and just be you do you and be beautiful and until then i will see you guys next time love you lots